Welcome to the channel. Today I'll be doing an egg cutting video on the Cypress to Queen Bee clutch as well as an update on that same clutch about a week later after they're all out of the egg. I'll, after that I'll also be adding a, an update on a couple hatchings from, from the season that are looking really good now. So let's get right to it. Alright, here we have the last clutch of the season. So this could be either a Queen Bee to a scaleless head male or Queen Bee to a cypress male and I'm hoping the cypress male is going to be the dad. We're going to find out here in a second. It's day 56. So let's go ahead and cut the first one. Make sure this gets in the view. Let's see what we got here. All right. Uh, we got a spider and a can't really tell what else it is. Looks like a lesser spider, but I can't see the head, so it's hard to tell if it's a scaleless head or not. All right, next one. amazing I don't even know what that is I mean spider obviously but well that's really nice it's spider lesser cypress maybe I have to wait on that one but that is that is beautiful all right Holy, oh yeah, Cypress de is definitely the father. Look at that, lesser Cypress, from what I can tell, that is, that is amazing. These are, these are turning out really nice. And we got eight eggs, so. Not even guessing on this one, but you can see how, how nice it looks. I'll do an update once these are out of the egg and it'll be easier to tell what they are once you can see their head stamp and everything. Cypress finally hit. It's good to have at least one clutch from him this this season. Paid at eight hundred dollars for him two years ago. Look at that one. Oh man, these are nice. All right, two more. I'm not taking too many guesses on these. I'm gonna wait till they, they come out, but you can see that even in the egg, they, they look really good. All right. Whew, look at that, wow. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera or not, but Cypress is definitely in this one. Pretty good odds so far. Man, this clutch is really, I'm really liking this clutch. Once you got a three gene female and then you got a hit 
combine it with Cypress, you got a lot of possibilities. Look at that. Whew, man. That is, it almost looks like zebra. Freaking amazing. Wow. There you go. I'll, I'll do an update once they come out in four or five days or so. All right, here we have the Cypress to Queen B clutch update. It actually ended up proving out and the father was the Cypress, which I'm really excited about. So we hit a little bit of everything from this pairing, which is nice. So I'll be able to show you single gene as well as the multi-gene animals I, I got from this pairing. So let's start off with the most basic. I'll start off with the single gene Cypress male I got right here. You can see a lot of people will be like, oh, that's just normal. But I mean, you look at look at the blushing on the side. And this is this is how I bought the father two years ago. And this is how he looked like as a hatchling. So this is a single gene Cypress male, just like the father. Close the lid on the other tub I'm moving him to. All right, next I'll show just a regular single gene spider. This is a female. So for being a single gene, like the spider does some amazing things. I mean, look at this, look at the blushing and the pattern reduction, the cool spider, spider webbing. A lot of people don't like spider, but to be honest, like I think they're, they're an amazing, it's an amazing gene. And then when you work it into combos, it, it does really cool things. So that's a single gene spider female. Next, so this is a this is a female as well. This is a spider cypress female. Really, really cool looking. You see how the spy, uh, cypress brings in that pretty pretty much makes the webbing, the spider webbing look a little thicker, and it's got a nice brownish color to it. She looks really pretty. All right, next. Let's see okay this is just this is a male this is oh, wow he looks good this is a cypress pastel really really nice blushing pastel brings in the yellows and it's, it's a little busier pattern than a regular uh, pastel really really nice looking male all right let's see next all right, this is a female. No, this is a male. So this is just, I believe this is just a bumblebee. So this is a spider pastel. Really cool looking. This pastels really blushes out the pattern, brings in some yellows in, in the spider. I remember when these first came out years ago, this is one of a lot of people like these because it's only a two gene animal, but like they, they look amazing to be honest. All right, next we got, so there's two of these. Let's see, these are both females. This is a pastel lesser cypress. So for people that don't like the spider gene, this is pretty much the next best thing you can get out of the pairing. These look nice. Almost have, has like a Mojave like look to it, but there was no Mojave at all in this pairing. And Cypress brings in the nice long dorsal stripe in the back. Really cool looking. That's one female. And the second one here, pretty much the same thing. Pastel Lesser Cypress. I may keep one of these back, but it all depends on what the next one is. Okay, and then the final one, which I'm, I'm not too too sure about this because I've never hatched out a hatchling um, queen bee, which is pastel lesser spider. But I think this may be a queen bee cypress, so pastel lesser spider cypress. If that's the case, then this will be an all gene. It's female as well. Because I was looking at other pictures of hatchling queen bees, and some of them look somewhat similar to this, but I might have to wait till it sheds out to tell what it is for sure but so if it's a regular queen bee 
I will let, I'll be letting her go, but if it's a queen bee cypress, I'll be holding her back. Since the mother is a regular queen bee, I don't need another one, and she's breeder size. But if it's a queen bee cypress, I'll definitely be holding her back. She looks really nice. I'm leaning more towards queen bee cypress. You could see, cause, so right here is what the dorsal stripe would be, so that's why I believe cypress is in it. And then it's got, the it's a brownish, so the spider webbing is brownish, which would come from the cypress as well. But she's really nice, regardless. That's pretty much an update on that clutch. This guy's been doing really good. This is a super orange dream, and she albino male. Just took his first meal on his own. A big, nice sized mouse hopper. All right, you just finished taking the meal. I wanted to get a light on it so you could really see how nice his colors are. I mean, look at that. I have, I have never even seen one of these for sale. He's looking amazing. Super Orange Dream Menchie Albino. Here's the next one I wanted to show off. This is a banana leopard pied female. I mean, just look at those colors. This this thing is, is amazing. Probably the best thing I hatched out this, this year. So it came from a what I thought was a male maker, banana head pied male maker, but he threw this, so we'll see what's what's going on. I have his his son I held back from uh, last season. I ended up selling him, but I kept his son, who's a banana leopard pied male. So we'll see him, he's right next to it. Look at that, I mean. So he's a little over a year old. Now look at the colors he's kept. He's just, just they're looking amazing. So obviously I'm probably gonna be pairing these in the future, but super happy about these. Next up is this leopard clown male. He came from a boob egg, so he was a little small. I had to force feed him a few times, but he's he's doing good now. I've actually already got him on hold for somebody who picked up two spot nose head clown females from me last season. I mean, he's he's got these blacks on it. Like the ridge, the ridges is so rich black. It's just he's looking really, really good. If I didn't have his father, which is uh, same thing, except he also has blade in him, then I would definitely be holding them back I mean, look at the head stamp rich colors he's, he's looking really good this guy's on hold as well he's a super orange dream super pastel yellow belly and she 66 percent had albino i mean tell me if you've seen one of these around this thing is i have his brother from last season that i'm holding back he's already pretty big hopefully he'll be breeding for me this later this season but he's the same thing except he's only has one pastel gene, uh, gene in him so single gene pastel, but he's he's got the super orange dream, yellow belly, and she uh, 66% had albino as well. But um, I mean, look at that. Look at that head stamp, it looks really good. He just took a nice size mouse hopper today. All right, last one I'll be showing is this really nice leopard pied male. I mean, for those of you that like high whites, this one's really, really nice. He's gonna, he's gonna be available since I have the leopard pied Leopard banana pied male from last season. But he, he looks really good. He's been taking a bunch of meals. Really healthy.